In this video, I'm assessing Jai, an eight-year-old with a potential language impairment. I'm using information processing tasks which assess Jai's working memory skills, and in doing this, I rule out the potential factor of background knowledge, which could impact test results. Let's take a look. All right, Jai, what I want you to do is um, I want you to listen carefully and work it. you're going to say what I say exactly back. I want you to say ga de me. Ga de me. Good job. That was wonderful. Perfect. Let's try ma de fa. Ma de fa. These are way too easy for you. You're too smart for that. I'm going to make it harder, and I'm going to have you say it back exactly the way I do. Let's try another one. Li mu re kai. Li mu kai. Va de fu ra. Li de kai. Okay. Ko bi se. Ko You're working really hard. Good for you, Jai. Ha ji lu nai. Ha ji ju ju ai. And last one here. De ki. Mo za. De ku mo zai. Okay, we're done. Great job, and I'll see you next time, okay? Thanks, Jai. We just saw me assessing Jai, an eight year old student with a suspected underlying language impairment. It was clear that when we got to four nonsense syllables, Jai was having a lot of trouble processing. He omitted syllables, he reversed, he just really struggled with the task. This is definitely a red flag of an underlying language impairment, and further assessment of Jai's language skills is going to be necessary.